just a wee informal blether, all of us joining together for autism today. Anything that enhances the work of volunteers is to be recommended. We need a strong economy and able to enable to have money to spend on the services that people with autism need. And so this last government has had a very successful record in improving the economy after some bad times that we had. People with autism, Asperger's, wherever it may be, um, they're viewed very dimly in the wider community. And a lot of people think, well, I've got autism, OK, I'll take a step back here. I don't want to associate myself with that. And it's trying to release that, that stigma around autism and people with autism in general. And it's one of the things that I'm going to be doing, that I'm going to be heavily involved in with the Scottish Youth Parliament. Some things that I did was the reason why I was quite antisocial at the time, because uh, I'd done some weird stuff and that caused like bullying, uh, which is what most uh, autistic people in the UK and uh, from abroad these days suffer, uh, bullying. That's the reason why I don't socialise that much because I don't want to say something which will get me into another or into that situation once again. Sure, we managed to get through most of it, and like I know we've had like the exams and the peer pressure, but um, we managed to like obviously get through most of that and where we are now. Because according to the school I was just a immature child who just needed to grow up. When I was speaking to somebody in there, a mother in there, a child with autism, it's a very complex condition and there's not enough understanding of it. Now, I've, been, I've been a teacher for over 20 years, I've taught kids with autism, you know, and the one thing, the only thing that you can be sure of with autism is that every child who's on the spectrum is different and they will have different needs and it's got to be tailored to their needs. Now that requires resources. What that does not require is further, further um, pressure on our council budgets, who are the frontline delivery for those resources. In my school, we had something called the base. It's where people who don't feel comfortable of going outside the school go to, so we can have like a wee chat with the pupil support and with other pupils at the base. Uh, the the pupil support there was really helpful and. Uh, uh, it was a big boost to my confidence because I had no, when I arrived at secondary school, I had no confidence. And a lot of it is about resources, but it's also about education and awareness. You know, it would be completely unacceptable if you know, children in school, for example, were being taunted in a racist way and schools would accept that that was completely unacceptable. If children are being bullied and treated differently because they're on the autistic spectrum, that's a serious problem that we want to address. So it is about money, but it's also about awareness of society. But identifying the problem is the beginning of finding a solution. And that's the way to look at it. But I mean, I think it's wonderful what Suzanne's doing. And you know, this North East should just have a lot of services and provision for people with autism. And it's these kinds of initiatives and these kind of campaigns that are going to make people get those services in the future. So I think it's really good you've got everyone together today. And I really hope that something comes out of it. that autism can bring and I can kind of talk to politicians about how they and their party or themselves can improve the life of, auti of autism with the general election government. I think today went absolutely brilliant, it couldn't have went any better. I'm really, really pleased with the turnout we had. Um, every MP that we invited turned up and had plenty to say, as did our local constituents. So, yes, all I can say is thanks again to the library for allowing us the use of their um, private room here. Uh, thanks to Ayrshire Film Company for coming along and joining us. And hopefully we'll see you all again soon.